What's going on guys today I am back with another Destiny 2 news video and today we have news on Destiny 2 beta for the PC. Now news is scarce regarding the beta on PC but not long ago Bungie released the weekly update which confirms the PC beta date and exactly what we will be able to play during this beta and yes new things have been added. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Okay, so on to the news. The PC beta will come live on August 28th, later this month. A set time on this date hasn't been confirmed as of yet, so stay tuned for more info on that. They mentioned that all summer long they have been using a baseline of activities to introduce players to Destiny 2 and test its functionality. The Destiny reveal event, E3 and the beta we played on the console. Each occasion something new has been introduced for us to experience. And the beta on PC will be no different. Players will get to experience content which is new. So what does the PC get during this beta test? So they get what we've already played in the homecoming mission. They get the inverted spire strike. They get countdown on mid time, which is something we got. But they also get to play control on a new map. A new map called Javelin 4, which I cannot wait to see. The beta on PC will also include evidence of some additional tuning of the player experience. Bungie mentioned that the beta we played on console was months old and changes have already been made. Also answering feedback from the community on power ammo and our super abilities. Talking about how they have made changes for the better, these changes will be in effect within the PC beta. Which is great news for PC players, but not so great for us console players who don't ever plan on playing on PC. But it will be interesting to watch over the community who do play their games on the dark side. Bungie go on to talk about PC exclusive features, they state as follows. Exclusive to the PC build for Destiny 2 will be an issue that might impact the way you capture content or talk to your teammates. We've seen this question a lot since we first talked about the PC. What will Bungie be doing to prevent online cheating in Destiny 2? For obvious reasons we won't explain our full counter cheating strategy in depth but there is one element of how we'll protect the game that might require adjustments on the part of our new friends in the PC gaming community. Some applications that people use when they play games try to add code to the game client. In the right hands this can enable some nice features to enhance your player experience. In the wrong hands this can be destructive to the world we share in the game. To help ensure that every player will have a fair shot at fun and glory in Destiny 2 on the PC, we resist attempts from applications to add code to Destiny. Our game needs to be the foremost authority on your fate as a guardian. Several types of programs can be affected. On most occasions the impact will be minor. There are two main categories that you'll want to be aware of for the beta. Communications applications and capture streaming applications. Both of these applications can be crucial to a community that shares content and experiences. Destiny Player Support has put their heads together with developers working on the PC build to produce an analysis of notable applications that may be impacted by our architecture. You'll also find notes on how you can still use some of them to manage your gameplay experience. And these notes I will link within the video description if you're interested and do want to read through them all. They do mention as well, which is actually important, that this is only a test. The PC is a platform that they've never shipped Destiny on, so there will be evidence of ongoing construction here and there. Even if you played the console beta, you'd be a priceless test resource for us. Not only will you have a chance to appreciate the differences, you'll be doing your part to ready us for launch. And guys, that is it uh, in terms of new news, uh, Destiny 2 wise, from the weekly update from Bungie. I will link it in the video description if you do want to read through it all. As always, it is a great read. But yes, guys, let me know what you think about PC players getting a new map called Javelin 4. And also let me know down below in that comment section if you will be playing on PC. I still haven't made my mind up yet. My PC can handle it. It's just whether I want it on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. I mean, grinding Destiny on one console is hard enough. Doing it on three systems is going to be a killer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Will carry on We never 
get it right.